interfering, Father. This is none of the church's business. It's the widow's field. She has the right to sell it. No. It's my field. It's my child. I nursed it. I nourished it. I saw it to its every want. I dug the rocks out of it with my bare hands and I made a living thing of it. I only welted that green grass, that lovely green grass, and you want to take it away from me and in the sight of God, I can't let you do that. Can't you find another field? Another field? Another field? Gee, is you're as far in here as that yank. Another field? Are you blind? Those hands, do you see those hands? Those rocks? It was a dead thing. Don't you understand? This is the widow's field. That's the law. The common law. There's another law. Stronger than the common law. What's that? The law of the land. When I... When I was a boy, younger than Ty there, my brothers and my sisters, had to leave the land because I couldn't support them. We wasn't rich enough to be priests or doctors. So it was the emigrant ship for all of them. I was the eldest, the heir. I was the only one left at home. Labor was scarce. So my father and I, we had our breakfast, dinner and tea, working in that field without a break in our work. And the mother brought us the meals. One day, one day my father sensed a drop of rain in the air. And the mother helped us bring in the hay before it was too late. She was working in one corner of the field and I was working in the other. But the third day I saw her fall back, keel over, so to speak. I called my father, I ran to her. My father knelt beside her in huge. You know, she was dying. She had an act of contrition into her ear and he asked God to forgive her her sins. And he looked at me and he said, fetch a priest. Fetch a priest. And I said, let's, let's bring the hay in for Let's bring the hay in for <clears throat> my father looked at me with tears of pride in his eyes. He knew I'd take care of the land. And if you think I'm going to face my mother in heaven or in hell without that field, you've got something else coming. No color, uniform, or weapon will protect. 